Hey everyone, I'm Nathaniel. Welcome back to another Clean With Me video. Today I'm going to be doing six rooms in my house, doing a power hour clean, and so that gives me 10 minutes for each room in my house to try to get as much done as possible. As you can see, my kitchen's a mess, my living room, dining room, my bedroom and my two bathrooms all need a good clean. I've had sick kids all week, so I haven't had a chance to get to it. And so today is the day that I have an hour to spend cleaning. So I hope you will get some motivation from this to get any areas in your house done that you haven't had a chance to get to and that you'll either clean with me or watch me clean and get some motivation from it. So come join me. If you're new to my channel, my name's Nathania. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three kids and I share real life cooking and cleaning motivation. If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. I hope you enjoy another Clean With Me video. I like to start at one end of my house and work my way through. So the kitchen is the place that I like to start. You'll have to figure out in your house where it makes the most sense to start for you. But for me, it's my kitchen. So I'm just trying to get everything loaded into the dishwasher that I can in the 10 minute time frame. I'm on to room number two which is the living room and mainly this just needed a side table cleaned up needed dusted and vacuumed now this is just a really quick dust it's not like thorough by any means but it makes it look a lot better and kind of hits the spots that are the worst I did end up shaking this rug later that our wood's sitting on, but my husband had a bunch of wood piled there, so I didn't feel like moving it all to then shake the rug, but I did clean that up later on. seem to always come across darts. Anyone else have boys and have Nerf darts everywhere? Let me know in the comments if you find darts every single time you clean. Now I'm moving on to my dining room. I'm going to give the table a good wipe down. As you can see, it's quite messy. And then just pick up all the cloth napkins laying around, do some more dusting and vacuum. I don't always get to everything in each of these rooms that I would like to, but it's just to try to get the biggest, messiest things picked up and cleaned up. So as you can see, the kids' school carts back there in the background are still pretty messy, but that's just something I will have to come back to another time. And another Nerf dart and a hair tie. Girls hair ties are like Nerf darts. They're everywhere. Whew, 
Okay, I have been working hard for 30 minutes. So we're halfway done and I just have three rooms left. I'd like to try to get to my hallway still, but we'll see if I have time. I have to clean two bathrooms and my bedroom and I still need to try to get back into my kitchen and vacuum and wash the dishes. We're just gonna go with that and see how much we can get done. So let's keep going. Room number four is my kid's bathroom. I'm just gonna get everything wiped down and cleaned up. just needed to make my bed and clean up some stuff that's been sitting in my room that doesn't belong there, dust as quick as I could, and then get some vacuuming done. Final room is the master bathroom. Here again, just going to give everything a good wipe down, shake the rugs, and vacuum the floor. So I finished up with my power hour. I got all the rooms done except for my hallway. I just finished up real quick after I finished the final bathroom and then I still have my kitchen to do. So I thought I would do some bonus content and show you me finishing up my kitchen because that is real life. Sometimes you just don't get to everything quite the way you want to in the hour, but you're also free to stop and you know, call it good enough as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish because I need to make supper in a couple hours and I want my kitchen done. 
So I hope you'll stick around and watch the bonus content and let me know in the comments below if you like this content and if you would like to see more of it. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and please hit the like button as this helps the YouTube algorithm know that you all like my video and they'll spread it to more people. So I would really appreciate if you'd do that. And I hope you'll join me again next week for another video. I share one video every week on cooking and cleaning motivation. Now that I got everything else done, I'm gonna come back and get these dishes done as quick as I can. It did end up taking me about another 30 minutes to get the kitchen done just because it was such a mess and I don't normally let it get that bad. It just, with having sick kids and everything, that's just how it happened this week. For more Clean With Me motivation, check out this video here of a day in our life on a Saturday. In the evening, I did a five by five clean. I explain it in this video and you can watch along with me as I show you how to do it. I got it all cleaned up and then I went ahead and shook the rugs and vacuumed and halfway through vacuuming, the battery died. So I had to switch to a broom, but hey, I got it done, whatever it takes, right? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this.